Hi everybody, it's Mary Ellen from Create With Me and I'm here in the Creativity Nest for another episode of Teach Me Tuesday. So you guys know by now, if you're at all involved in Stampin' Up! or you're an avid Stampin' Up! follower, that we've got a color refresh. So today I thought I'd do a card that's full of color and um, something kind of fun using one of the new stamp sets um, and then one of the online exclusive products. So um, before we get started with the project, I just want to mention a couple things that um, tomorrow for 24 hours we have free shipping. So tomorrow is free shipping day. And um, so I'm super excited about that because um, if you go up into the header of the video, I've got um, some products that are going to be going up in price on May 2nd with the new catalog. So you might want to snag those and stock up on those um, items because there's some, some that it can add up. Your envelopes and your adhesives and some of your cardstock. So hi, Tanya. Um, so you might want to grab those uh, tomorrow and, and just take the advantage of um, free shipping, which is 11% off. So um, just wanted to mention that. And then there's some other items in there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take you down um, to my desk. And I want to look at all this color. See what I've got here? I've got some new color. I've got some old color. So I've got I've got everything kind of coordinated. So I've got Pumpkin Pie and Daffodil Delight. And then there's the new Azure Afternoon, uh, Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, and Fresh Frieza. So a lot of um, returning favorites. But we're going to use the new stamp set. Do I have it here? No, I don't. But it's Charming Daisy. And so we're going to just do a bright and colorful Charming Daisy, um, kind of a sneak peek of a new stamp set. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with um, the Fresh Frieza and these gorgeous daisies. And I'm gonna just make a nice big colorful background um, just full of flowers. Um, because I don't know about you, but in my garden, like the tulips are blooming, the daffodils are blooming, and the um, hyacinths are blooming, and it's really, really fun. And I'm just enjoying it. And then all the fruit trees are blooming. So um, we've got all colors out here, and it's really, really awesome. So we're gonna start with Fresh Freesia. And we're going to stamp this big um, daisy right there in the middle. And then I'm going to bring in, I think I'm going to bring in this Melon Mambo. And stamp some of these smaller daisies around. My ink pads are all juicy. So um, they're going to start out super juicy. And then as they dry, then they'll come more towards um, true color. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Gosh, I haven't talked to you for a while. Um, nice that you're on. Then we're going to do pumpkin pie. And the, again, this is a cheerful daisy and I'm just adding a lot of color. So I think I'm going to have this flower kind of peek this way and one over here. And then we need a little bit of greenery. So I'm going to get my Grand Apple Green. I'm going to keep my Melon Mambo because I need that for a little bit of sponging. But we're going to use a little daisy stem and put some greenery in here. I think I'm going to do this one here. And then I'm going to extend that stem so it goes off my card by just turning it around and stamping that little bit. So that camouflages it right there. And then we'll put some leaves right here. go in here and then one more here and I'm going to put a couple just off my page like so coming in I think that looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with that and then I told you I had this um crazy blue which you know blue flowers I don't know not 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 usually but I think it's fun in stamping um, to do some of these kind of unusual things that you might not have in um, nature. I mean, there's some blue, blue-ish, but I mean, not this, not this, not this azure afternoon, I don't think. And then I'll just put a little peak of it up here in the corner. And then, of course, we have to finish our flowers with um, some centers. So, I mean, it looks kind of crazy right now, but just bear with me. I'm going to do a fun, um, something fun right on top. So it's going to kind of 
it's going to kind of mute this and um, then it's going to um, just, it, it's, you'll see, it's really pretty. So here's Daffodil Delight. I'm going to put some centers here. Kathy says she, you've been busy, busy with volunteering. Well, you're awesome. You are awesome. Okay, so there's the center of our flower. So now we're going to do, we're going to kind of set this aside. It looks like I've got everything I want on there. That paper is pretty bright and colorful, right? But we're going to do something that kind of, we're not putting vellum over it, but I'm going to show you, we're going to just put something on top of it. So I'm going to use a new, uh, I'm going to use a piece of paper that is just a small, um, I think this is three by two and some of this and a small blending brush. So I just have a little blending brush. And what I'm going to do, you'll see here in a second, I'm going to, I always start off just going to do, I'm doing not really an ombre look, but kind of a um, faded look. So I'm going to do really dark here at the bottom. And then I'm kind of, I'm going to start working my way up a little. I'm not going to cover my whole paper. What I'm going to do is just cover the bottom, but I do want this fairly dark. So I just keep working it slowly. Just like this, I'm bringing up a little bit of color up, lightly, light, okay? And then I'll hit that down here and then get that middle. So what you're going to end up with is a piece of paper that looks like, you know, just, just like this, you know? Oh, I hope that's not me. It looks like it looks like it's doing okay here. Kathy says she has to rewatch. So good, come back, watch it because it's really cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these um, letters. So, oh gosh, you can hardly see them. These are the alphabet a la mode letters. So I told you something from the um, online exclusives. Have you guys got these little um, alphabet letters? They're so awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut them. And But first I want, I want them to pop up on my card. So I'm using the adhesive, um, oh gosh. I left the piece of paper on my thing. It's like an adhesive sheet. So it's like a, the um, dimensionals, but a whole sheet of it. So all I'm going to do is I've got a piece of it that is the same size, two by three. And I'm going to put my cardstock on there. And then here's a little tip on, I use a post-it note. I've ran this through two or three times. We're going to do this card tomorrow in club. So um, I, I added then some washi tape because every time I just add a little bit more to keep it um but I want to keep it straight because I want the um, bottom of my letters to be dark. And so what I'm going to do is do just like this. And then I'll run it through my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. So it'll just stick on like that. Okay, so I pre-did that for you. And what you get is something that looks like this. I think I'm actually done with that. So here, so I just stick it back on the backing, the little backing here. And so you get the word hello. Okay, super cute. So I'm going to um, take this and I'm going to do some adhering. And I'm going to adhere it to a little bit of Milan Mambo. I don't know why I turned that around. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, so a little bit of that. And then my background is going to be this azure afternoon. Do you see where I'm going with this? I don't think I got that quite straight, but I'm going to go with it. Okay, then I'm going to adhere it on to that, to that, um, to our card space. So this is just simple stamping right here, nothing fancy. Okay, and then we're going to take our hello. And I like to use a little straight edge. And I'm going to... I can, I can use this as a guide to see about where I could start. And this allows my letters to pop up right in the middle of my flowers. Isn't that cool? I got this idea. Um, gosh, I was going to double check again. I'll write it in the comments if I can't think here in a minute. It's not my original idea. 
So there's a little card. Now I want your opinion. So I've got the word hello here. And then I thought there's words that went with it that says, um, you made my day. So we could leave it like this, add a little bit of embellishments, but I thought you could add the words, you made, hello, you made my day because you did something awesome that made me smile. And then I'm going to add a couple of um, tiny, mini dimensionals. Now, I could put um, my words. I'm kind of looking at my comments to see. I could put my, whoops, I guess I didn't get that one out. I could put my word, it's still not coming up. Hello, it's stuck to my finger. I could put it up here in, in the word hello. Okay, so that would be one choice. It could be um, right here. Um, I thought I kind of like it right down here, or it could be without. So let me know your opinion if you like it with the words, without the words. Um, then let's add some uh, iridescent rhinestone basic jewels to the card to just give it a little bit of bling bling. Like the bling. And I'm going to add them. I don't want. I don't think I'm going to put them on the actual flowers. I think I'd like to put them on the white. So comment, let me know, do you like the words on here or should I just leave them off of there and um, put them on the inside? Let's see, Tanya likes it below just like I have it, okay. And so there's the card. If we keep it below, like Tanya and I like it, we like it like this. And then we could take um, our inside and then we need to add, um, I think we need to add a little flower. I kind of like this, um, kind of like this half flower that we did in the pumpkin pie. I know what I'm, I know with these pads being so juicy, I just know I'm gonna um, end up sticking my finger right inside one because every single one of these is super juicy right now. <laughs> This one's going to be more, a little more like a Black Eyed Susan. Oops, I closed my greenery. My green, Granny Apple Green. I need to put some leaves on there. I like this stem. It even has a little place where you can know right where to put your leaves. You don't even have to um, guess. Yeah, these colors are super, super bright. So make sure you're making out your wish list because tomorrow's free shipping and lots of things are going to be going up. So this is a perfect day. I'm going to be stocking up on some of those things that I use all the time. And um, I think that that's a great, a great um, thing to do. So there's a card using the adhesive sheets and a little bit of ombre and the new... Um, Alphabet a la mode off of the online exclusive. I really like these. This is the first time I've played with them, but I can see that I'm going to um, use them a lot, a lot. So let me know what you think. I'll post this card um, up in my group, and um, I hope you like it. I, I'm so glad that you guys came. Um, nice to see you. On the, It's finally like bright and sunny. It started out, this day started out really, really cold, almost freezing, and now it's up in the 60s. So um, spring is here, right? We get both extreme temperatures in one day. So you guys have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye everybody.